That should do the trick. If you think till death you was part, you were mistaken, baby. Awaken and rise. Awaken and rise. Well, your eyes are open, but you're not speaking. Maybe I need to drip more candle wax on your body. Oh! Ah, now you speak. Hello. Welcome back. How was death? What's happening? Well, somebody told me to sit on their face, and the consequences of that happening is death. I warned you, but no, don't listen to the goth giantess that knows her weight. I swear human beings just don't like to listen one bit. Yeah, you died. But thankfully, somebody knows how to do witchcraft. You're welcome. Oh, uh, by the way, did you end up going to heaven or hell? If it was hell, did you see my dad? Unable to put it into words? Uh, I'm not shocked. Must be a way to keep all of that under wraps. So us mortals will never know and tell the secrets of the afterlife. Either way, welcome back, darling. You kind of actually gave me a bit of a scare. Once again, witchcraft, yay! But at first it took me a while to actually find the spell required to bring you back, and I was starting to panic. <laughs> I didn't want to catch a case. Because you are the one that made me do this. Oh, you didn't make me do it. You were begging me, begging me to sit on you. I kept telling you every single time you would die, you would get crushed. The outcome would not be in your favor. But you kept insisting and saying, if I die, I die. Why do you think I learned witchcraft to begin with? I knew this day was going to come. You want to do it again? No, we're not going to do it again. You and I need to be figuring out if you even came back properly. I mean, sometimes these types of spells end up backfiring and... You may be a little bit more... Evil, I guess would be the right word. Don't worry though, I got a checklist, it's in the book. Um, let me, let me get to the page. Uh, okay, uh, are you having a craving for human flesh? Okay, no, good, good, okay. Um, how about slaughtering your enemies or anybody that's wronged you? Okay, that's good, that's good. Why is there a checklist? I guess this is just like a really common thing that happens when people come back from the dead. Don't ask me, this is my first time doing it. Speaking of which, once again, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. That's what I wanted to hear, a thank you. My god. <laughs> you lost your manners or something? One thing you didn't lose is your cuteness though. How long have you been out? Mmm, let's see. In the first hour, I was just panicking and wondering if I should call the police or not. In the second hour, I was just collecting the book and the materials needed to bring you back. And this is currently the third hour, so you haven't been out for too long. Ah, uh, you know what? It's probably if you're gone for longer, you coming back will end up being much, much worse. So yeah, perfect timing. Imagine if I waited a day? Whew. I think I'd have a full-on zombie. Well, you're not a zombie now. Your heart's beating, at least. I think. Wait, let me check. Yeah, that's definitely a pulse. It's, it's faint, but it's a pulse, so there's that. Ah, I wouldn't use the word half-dead. You, you seem to be fully alive, in my opinion. Now we go to a hospital, they'll probably tell you something else, but in my humble opinion, because we should probably keep this under wraps, you're 100% alive. We should just do a safety precaution and keep you away from people for a little bit, just in case, you know, the whole revenge thing or 
eating people thing or, you know, really anything in his checklist. Speaking of which, I see something that's very important in here. You're not having any thoughts of world domination, right? Okay, okay, good, good, good. There was a little hesitation in that, but okay, that's that's good enough. Honestly, as long as you're not trying to kill me, I'm fine, but I feel a little guilty and responsible for this outcome, even though I shouldn't. But you're still mine, and I care about your well-being no matter what. Now, if only I could do a spell that would make you indestructible. Even if it's temporary. Because now I actually want to crush you. But for a different reason. Let's see. Mm, come now. Mm. I swear that motorcyclist. You know, if you wanted to eat them, I'd be all for that. You hear him out there just revving up? God, I can't take that person. Um, hear this? No, that's not it. Have mercy upon me? Definitely no, not that. Mm. Eh, I guess I'll look for it later. But if I can find a spell like that, would you be interested? Because maybe then, and only then actually, I'll sit on you and not, you know, worry about your continued existence. <laughs> you like the risk? Okay, now I know you're insane. And you were probably insane to begin with. I can't even blame the spell at this point. Why do you want to risk death each time we do something together? Because it's fun? Oh my god. <sighs> what am I hearing? What am I hearing? Oh lord, please tell me what I'm hearing. Okay, okay. <sighs> so I see that something is a little wrong. Um, I don't think that's you talking. I think that may be part of the spell backfiring. Because there's no way that my sweetheart is this silly. They would never say this. Um, no, 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 correct me. You would never, ever so willingly want to risk your life just for a moment of peace. Right? 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 Oh my god. I knew you were into goth girls and giantesses, but this is ridiculous. Come on. Yeah, that's that's about it. Okay, so if you're having any of these symptoms in the checklist, I can just do a tranquility spell. But other than that, there's not really any helping you. Um, so I'm really just going to have to keep an eye on you for about the rest of your life, uh, depending on how long that is. If you are, in fact, immortal at the moment, then you're going to live longer than me at this point. There's also a spell for that, but eh. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be a lot more difficult than I realized. Hmm. Well, the ingredients we're going to need is... I'm going to have to travel halfway across the planet just to get some of these ingredients. What the fuck? Crush you? I'm trying to find ways to make you feel better, and you want me to crush you? This is what got you in this situation to begin with. Oh, no, don't say please. It's too cute. No, no, I'm not going to do it. We need to focus, baby. Uh, I know, I know you like when I put my feet on you, but still, focus, focus, all right? We need to get through this, and then maybe I can do that, all right? Oh my god, don't be bratty. Baby. Baby. No. <sighs> okay, how about this? Get my nail polish. Yes, the black nail polish. If you can get up and get that nail polish, then I'll crush you after you put nail polish on my toes. Yep, that's a deal. And you know I'm a woman of my word. Oh no, you can't move. I wonder why. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I knew this was going to happen to you. Mm-hmm.
It's a symptom of the resurrection. You can move your face, you can blink, but your limbs are not going to be of any use to you for a little bit. So, I hope you enjoy the floor. Yeah, I could join you, but the couch feels a lot better. Now, why would I join you down there? Yeah, so I could sit on you. Mm-hmm. Wonderful suggestion, baby. Oh, you needy little thing. How about this? You receive a punishment from me, and I'll give you what you want. Even if that means crushing you again. Putting that out there before you even ask, because I know you will. Now, I've lit up all these candles, just to bring you back. It would be a shame to waste all of this wax. Don't you agree? Good. Now should I start with the red candle? Or the black candle? Oh, who am I kidding? I could just use both on you at the same time. Hold still, darling. Not like you can even move. 